enough? I do have one more question. Yes. It's, it's related to this. It's about visualization as a, a technique for healing. Visualization is taking something into more and more specific. This is what I was wondering about it. Since every subject is two subjects, wanted and lack of wanted, if we were standing in your physical shoes, we would be certain that we were on the good feeling end of the stick before we would become more specific as in visualization or more specific as in affirmation. Okay. Do your affirming from your state of alignment and do your visualization from your state of alignment. Don't use either one to try to get into alignment because it will backfire on you. That's very helpful. Thank you. Yeah. You recognize that, don't you? And in simple terms, you could call it just trying too hard, right. trying to compensate for how I really feel with words and action. As you were talking, something that occurred to me is that it's almost like, you know, having the issue disappear would be kind of a, a pat on the back. Oh, well, there, there, you, you did the right things. Validation. Like validation being right. But that justification and validation. Yeah. Here's the thing. This is the piece that is new to this discussion. That is the piece that all of you are looking for. Yeah. If you can let the validation, if you need it, and it's all right, mm -hmm. if you can let it be the emotional response, then you can get there fast and you can stay there long. If you need the validation to be the all the way manifest, in other words, let's look at this vibration of desire that you want to turn into a full fledged manifestation that you can see in here and smell and taste and touch. But if you're needing that too soon in the game, you can't get there. If you can let the good feeling be what you're looking for, you can get there fast and you can maintain that long. And once you get the hang of that, then the rest must follow. But if you demand this before you've got this, if you demand the manifestation, if you demand the changed condition before you've got the unconditioned, which is what we're calling the emotion, mm -hmm. then you don't get there. Mm -hmm. Did you follow that? So let us just ask you some questions. Is it easier for you from where you stand right now to deposit $10 million in your bank or to find a thought that feels good around the subject of prosperity, which is easier, the emotion or the manifestation, the emotion, which is likely to happen this afternoon, the emotion, the emotion or the manifestation. The so what we want you to hear from us is if you can make the emotion, the big deal that it is, if you can make it the prize because it represents connection to all of the resources. If you can mm -hmm. let that be what you're reaching for, because you can get it now, 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 you can get so good that you can stay pretty steadily there all the time. And when you're not, it's not a big deal. You know, you can get back there. You can become expectant of feeling good. And when you are expectant of feeling good, then those manifestations will follow. So here's the trap that you think we just put you in. If you need the change in the condition in order to feel good, it's slow in coming. If ever, if you can feel good anyway, then the condition will come. Well, Abraham, do you want us to have the condition or not? Yes. We want you to have the condition. We want you to have the full blown manifestation. Yes, yes, yes. We're just telling you how to get it. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. We want you to have the physical improvement. Yes. We want you to have big piles of money. Yes. We want you to have all of those manifestations. We just want you to find the uncondition of it first. Then the condition must follow. But if the condition must be before it is, now you're looking right at the lack of it. So what's the vibration that you're offering? The lack of it. But when you're finding the emotion of it, what you're looking at, the fullness of it. Can you feel the difference? Yeah. It's big. It's what deliberate creating is. It's the difference between those masters that you have revered in all subjects. Those who accomplish the things that you are wanting to accomplish have discovered this. And it feels like a paradox to you. It feels like a contradiction. It sounds like we're saying, if you don't want it, then you'll get it. But that's not what we're saying at all because your desire is in place. So what we're saying is if you can surrender your resistance of your desire, then it must come. Yeah. If you say, I want it so bad it hurts. That's not a good sign. <laughs> if you say, when I think about it, I am joyful. Oh, that's such a good sign.
when you say, when I think about it, I'm just frisky. That's <laughs> such a good sign. When I think about it, I worry. Not a good sign. Yeah. Good. And I feel like I'm mostly in that direction. Yeah. And that yeah. feels really good. Yeah. 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 You only have to be about 51, 49 in order to be moving toward what you want. When you get up around 60 or 70, you're the happiest person that almost anybody knows. When you're feeling good most of the time, you're rocking it. People are looking at you and saying, hey, you've got way more than your fair share of all the good stuff. <laughs> That's what they'll say to you. Hey, hey, how come all the good stuff comes to you? All of it doesn't, just my fair share. What's your fair share? All that you have the ability to let in, that's your fair share. Good. Thank you. Yeah. How can we work our way through that resistance with wording? Because it's not about the wording so much. It's how we feel, I understand. Words sometimes can help, but what it really is, is when you are aware that there is resistance, stop trying to push through it. Because trying to push yourself through it just makes more resistance, so it just gets worse. So it really is about surrendering. This is what you wanted to talk about. It really is about giving up. Oh, never mind. I can do this later. Oh, never mind. Never mind. This isn't the right time for that. Oh, never mind. Allowing. Esther has had printed some cards that go on the dash of the car. Would you like one? Yes. She'll send them to you. <laughs> the card, you can't read it when you look at it, but it reflects on the windshield so you can read it. And it says, things are always working out for me. 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 She has it on all of her cars. Things are always working out for me. One day she took three cars to the car wash because it was the day she was washing cars. So she took one down, took another one down. And the man said, oh, it's so nice to see you again. And Esther's thinking, oh, thank you. <laughs> and he said, I recognize the card on your dash. Because <laughs> he had not seen anything like that before. Things are always working out for me. That's an affirmation worth making. Things are always working out for me. Do you believe it? Yes. yes. Do you? Yes. Do you really? Yes. Things are always working out for me, yeah? Yes. You believe that? Yes. Really? Yes. Things are always working out for me. Yes. Things are always working out for me. Yes. Things are always working out for me. Yes. Taking their damn sweet time sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> we heard you. <laughs> Things are always working out for me. So if that statement's too strong, then say, things often work out for me. I'm often aware that things are always working out for me. That's a sort of more true statement. I'm often aware that things are always working out for me. Sometimes I realize that things are always working out for me. I like it when I'm aware that things are always working out for me. The more I'm aware that things are always working out for me, the more things are working out for me. I don't need to focus upon the condition of things working out in order to know or expect things are working out for me. I'm beginning to trust in my own well-being. I'm beginning to trust in my own worthiness. I can feel that I am the object of the attention of source of non-physical energy. I can feel that there are a whole lot of non-physically focused beings who have my back. I can feel that things are working out for me. I can feel that I could let things work out for me even more as I let go of the things that are bothering me. I can help things work out for me in a more conscious way by being consciously aware that things are always working out for me. They don't seem like they're always working out for me, but deep down, I know that they are always working out for me. And when something isn't working out for me, next, I'm going to say things are always working out for me. I just got to relax and allow the path of least resistance to move it along. Things are always working out for me. Things are always working out for me. No regrets, no bad steps, no wrong steps. I can't get it wrong. I'm never going to get it done. The reason that it's not ever wrong is because it's never done. I'm in the right place at the right time. Things are always working out for me. Things are always working out for me. Let's take it further. Source adores me. Source adores me. My inner being adores me. I am so loved. I am so loved. Look at this planet spinning in its orbit in perfect proximity to other planets. Things are so working out for us. Oh, they keep telling us something's going to hit us. They keep telling us we're going to go out of orbit. 
They keep telling us that things are going wrong, but things are always working out for us. They keep telling us that the drought's going to come and it's never going to rain again. And now we're on the streets in our boat. <laughs> things are always working out. Things are always working out. I could smooth the flow out by trusting that more. I could smooth the flow out. I could have less flood and less drought. I could smooth the abundance out. I could allow things to come to me more smoothly. I could smooth out my path of least resistance. I could make it lesser and lesser resistance. It's so that when I have an idea of something I want, it can come to me swiftly and speedily. It doesn't have to take as long as it is. It's all right that it does. You see what we're getting at? And aren't these words calming and reassuring? And couldn't you find them if you wanted to? And don't you want to? Yes. Don't you want to really know that things are always working out for me? So someone says, how did you get to where you are? Tell me about yourself. And you say, instead of no, you could say, things are always, always working, working out for me. Things are always working out for me. Things are always working out for me. What do you mean? Oh, it's too long of a story to tell. I'm just a thriver. I'm just a thriver. I think I may be the most blessed person on the planet. Things are always working out for me. How'd you get there? Don't know, but I'm glad I'm here. <laughs> it happened so gradually, I can't even remember. It just seems like for a really long time I've been thriving. I don't really like to see you thriving that much because I'm not thriving. Things are always working out for you too. Things are always working out for all of us. Oh yeah, well, I don't see that. A lot of people don't, but then they don't thrive. Do you mean to tell me? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's what I mean to tell you. Things are always working out for us. Things are always working out for us. And to the degree that we know that and trust that and relax into that, then things do work out for us. How'd you get there? Well, I surrendered. I stopped trying to prove my worthiness. I just accepted it. I stopped trying to defend my position. I just held it. I stopped trying to explain myself to those who cannot hear my explanation. That's big. Yeah. Mother. <laughs> I don't think that you're going to understand so I'm just not going to explain myself starts early doesn't it yeah my inner being is my dominant partner of alignment there are a lot of things you can't say to most people they're not gonna hear it so you've got to go general happiness is my nature I feel like I'm supposed to feel good I sure like feeling good I would so much rather feel good than not wouldn't you well yeah <laughs> wouldn't everybody yes everybody would rather feel good and I believe we all can feel good it's just a matter of focus do you mean under any condition you mean you can feel good no matter what yes well what about that I don't look at that well then you can't feel good under any circumstance no I'm unconditionally happy I don't focus at conditions that are awful and expect to feel good that doesn't seem smart I focus upon conditions that are wonderful and then I feel good. Oh, so you've got your head in the sand. Pretty much. <laughs> Pretty much. I'm focusing on things that feel good because feeling good seems to be why things are always working out for me. Because I've given up the struggle. I've given up the battle. I've given up the blame. That's a big one. I've given up the blame, I've given up the guilt. That's even bigger. I've given up the guilt. How'd you get there? I don't know. I'm just here. I'm just here. Well, explain to me how you got there. Really don't want to. I might go back. Just moving forward, living happily ever after. Happily ever after. Not happily before, happily ever after. Happily ever after. I'm living happily ever after. Yeah. Enough? Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs>